Okay, so we've done this plenty of times where we've had an equation that has a variable or an unknown number and we've solved using inverse operations to get what that, that variable is, to figure that part out. Now, when we tried this earlier, I asked you guys, when I gave you an equation like this, what about this equation is difficult? What about this equation makes you look at it and think, I don't think I can solve this? And the answer I got was that there are variables, in this case x's, on both sides. Usually we just have a number that's multiplied or added to or subtracted um, to the x on one side and then we have maybe another number and then another number on the other side of the equal sign. But this time we have variables, in this case x's, on both sides of the equal sign. Now this isn't any different than if we only had had it on one side. Okay? We're going to use inverse operations to get the variables only on one side of the equation, okay, on one side of the equal sign. We're going to get all of our numbers that have variables multiply on one side and all of the numbers that are the constants that don't have variables attached to them on the other side. And again, we're going to use inverse operations. So in this case, if we have 2x plus 8 um, equals 6x, since I have a positive 2x on this side, I'm going to subtract 2x from it. And since I subtract 2x from one side, I'm going to subtract 2x from the other. Remember, we call this combining like terms because these, these terms both have x's. Okay? So 2x minus 2x, that's just 0. I'm not going to put the 0 down here. We, we don't need it. I'm going to bring down my 8 because it's left over. I don't need to put 0 plus 8. Okay. And then 6x minus 2x, well, we know from combining like terms that that is 4x. Now we have all of our variables on the right hand side of the equation and all of our constants or numbers without variables on the other side. And you guys now know through inverse operations that 4 times x equals 8 we're, we're going to divide by 4. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So 4x divided by 4, well, that's just 1. And 1 times x, that's just x. And 8 divided by 4, that is 2. So x equals 2. Okay. Just like before, we get our variables on one side by themselves. And we get the numbers, the constants, the numbers of that variables on the other side. I'm going to show you one more problem that we're going to have to add another step to it. Okay. And it's, let's say it is 34 minus 2x equals 12 plus 9x. Now this time I have variables on both sides of the equal sign and constants, numbers on both sides of the equal sign. But we're still going to do the same thing. We're going to use inverse operations to get the variables on one side and get the constants on the other side. I'm going to start with my variables. I have a negative 2x and a positive 9x. So for me the easiest way to get the variables on one side I'm going to take this negative 2x and I'm going to add 2x to it because the inverse operation from subtraction is addition. So if I add 2x on this side, I need to add 2x on this side. And so negative 2x plus 2x, that's just 0. I'm not going to put a 0 down here. I'm just going to bring down my 34 and I'll bring down my equal sign and I have a 12, 9x plus 2x 
equals 11x. Now I have all my variables on one side, but I don't have all of my constants, all of my numbers without variables on one side. But I know how to do that pretty easily. If I have a positive 12 and a positive 34, I'm going to now subtract 12 from both sides. 12 minus 12, that's just zero. And I'm not going to bring it down, bring down the zero because I'm going to bring down my 11x instead. And 34 minus 12 is 22. Now I have my variables on one side and my constants on the other. Now 11 times x equals 22. Inverse operation of multiplication is dividing. I'm going to divide both sides by 11. x equals 2 because 22 divided by 11 equals 2. Okay. So I can have variables on both sides and constants on both sides. Either way, I'm going to use my inverse operations to get the variables on one side and the constants on the other.